All right, so let's see what this Valance 3D is all about. All right, let's see what's going on. See if it's, if, it's if, if I just wasted my money or not. But it's Apple, so I can always get my money back if I don't like it. Can't tell if it's my pencil or... No, oh, pencil works. Okay, maybe this is just a quick start. Go to gallery. Okay. Primitives. Okay, so just a bunch of primitives. Cool. How do I... Okay, here's the scene. I don't really want to save it. Let's put that back. All right, let's figure out how to get out of this. Okay, there it is. So let's make a new scene. Cool, poly, polygonal modeling. Oh, okay, how do I? There we go. How do I know which way is the front? I guess maybe Z is the front? Oh, we'll make this the front, I guess. I have no experience with polygon modeling whatsoever. So really, I'm just going to tap through these and kind of see what they do. Okay, so I think here's the vertice. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. This is, what does this do? So that's the ver vertex selection edge. So the edge should be like this. Okay, really cool. I like that. Oh, it stretches. Two finger tap undo, intuitive. I like it. I wonder if there's a way to, oh, does this snap? Oh, that does snap, that's nice. I was hoping that that would work and it did. I held my finger down and it snapped. So here's the face. How do I get it so it doesn't I like using that, but I don't like that it gets stuck. Okay, so here's the face, which you can move around. Cool. Can I do that? Oh, there we go. I wonder how many times I can undo. So what is this? Oh, that's the rotate tool. Okay, so that's rotate. This looks like stretch, extrude face. Okay, so extrude faces, I don't really know what that, do I have to select the face first? Ooh, and then, okay. Ooh, and then I can probably bring this out with one of these, nice. I wonder if there's a mirror option. So like if I wanted to mirror this on the bottom and make like Thor's hammer or something like that. Um, let's see. This looks like a mirror. No, it's clear selection. <laughs> um, mirror. All right, path traced. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to turn it off. Wait, what does that say? Physically based rendering. X-ray, okay. Wireframe, and that's regular. Okay, so that's how you get all the different looks and stuff like that. I didn't I didn't do this one, I don't think. Oh, that just selects the whole mesh. Okay. Let me get out of this because I don't want to um I just want to leave it regular for now. So this touch is the select tool, move tool, rotate. Oh, I'm still, oh, I have to select the whole thing. Oh, I'm on face, so I need to select this. Oh, and then it gives me move, rotate, and stretch. Scale options. Okay, so it looks like you can do a way more. Oh, let's see how, let's figure out how to bevel. 
I want it to bevel this. So let's say I stretch it. I want to make like a phone or something. A little schmott phone. So I need to take the edges. So we'll go to edge. So we'll take this edge. How do we select more than one? How do I select more than one edge? Because uh, if I tap another edge, um, I don't know what these mean. Pivot. Oh, these are like pivot things. Global orientation. What is that? Extrude edge tool. Oh, that's the bevel. But I need to select more than one. What's this? Crease tool. Oh, there's probably like a button I press. This looks like rotate. There must be some sort of button I press that's sort of like a shift key. Kind of. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, what's that? Oh, oh that takes me out. Go back in. Okay, so what if I take the edge? What if I hold it? Can I hold it and select multiple edges? No. Uh, active component. There's got to be a way, right? Extrude. All right, let's start just pressing on the buttons. This is drag, rectangular selection, toggle outliner. You can toggle away, my friend, toggle away. Normal orientation, global orientation. None of those. Oh, here's symmetry. So let's just go back to, tap on this edge. Added modifier. So, okay, so let's just see what happens if I... Can I long press this? No. Let's bring it back. Let's see what happens if I bevel this side, if the other side will bevel. So we'll take bevel here and pull it. Okay, the other side looks like it kind of beveled. I see the bevel, but I don't see... Oh, that's so weird. Like it beveled, but then it didn't really bevel. So it looks like it's beveling, but how do I lock that in? I guess I need to find the manual. Let's see if there's any help. Uh, user manual. So I guess I need to tap this yellow here. Tap this button to enable add to selection mode. Okay. So here was the yellow one. That's what it was on. And then we want the green one. So I'm on edge. I want to try to bevel all of these. So select that one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay, and now bevel. Okay. So I don't know how to I don't know how to put the sections, like the cross sections. Okay, so the help thing is really useful. So here's the bevel tool. So I did it this, the right way. Uh, the bevel tool is under development. We're working to make it produce fillets, fillets, chick fillets, uh, fish fillet from McDonald's. Remember that fish fillet? Anyway, current the bevel tool can only pr produce chamfers. I hate that word. Um, Okay, so I don't think I can do it, but it looks like you can like drag from the middle or something like that. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, wrong app. Uh, oh, it looks like I have to... I don't know. I want to select that one again. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to make another cut. 
Okay, so I couldn't figure out um, a good way to do it, unfortunately. Uh, looks like... Oh. Oh, no, it doesn't work. Oh well. So let's see if I can figure out how to do an edge loop. I was just looking at the directions and I don't, maybe I need to have faces. So I have faces. Oh, is there an, like an edge loop tool? Or maybe it's points? What's this? Oh, that's nuts. I don't know what that is. Poke tool. Crease tool. Inset tool. Extrude faces. Let's see what the inset tool does. Okay, so we kind of know what that is. Nice. Oh, so I made another one by accident. Okay, loop cut, loop cut. Maybe I have to turn this off. Let's see. I don't see those are the tools. Oh, I see. Oh, is this loop cut? Loop cut tool. Oh, so you can add it here. Okay, so what if I want to add one here and then, okay, how do I add another one? Why are you all the way over there? I use faces for it? No. So it's only edge. But how did I get that one? I don't even know how I got it. Okay, loop cut. Oh, maybe I have more than one selected. One selected, loop cut. But I don't want it there, I want it. Oh, there we go. So it has to be, okay, so it has to be perpendicular. That, that makes sense. I guess. So we'll cut that. So let's see if I can pull these out a bit. Maybe. Like if I select multiple ones and then I use this to like pull it out. I guess. I want to change this global orientation normal so i think the normal means face like the side that's showing there we go so can i pull wait what i'm i'm too old for this oh so this stupid thing made a whole line all the way across i don't know why i did that this loop cut tool is it making a line below? No. I wonder why it makes a line across on the top, but not on the bottom. Okay, let's try it again. So let's take these edges. Oh, whoops. So let's take these edges and then just try to... I guess I can't pull it out on the normal like straight out. Maybe if I'm on the middle one. How do I get that like straight? I don't know. Let's long press this and see what happens. More options? No, just show extras. Oh well. So can't get the edges round, so I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, let's try something else. Let's try this crease tool. So crease, I think you move this around. Yeah, I guess not. I don't know what that's doing. 
sure it's I'm sure it's very useful if you know how to use it i'm gonna have to watch some tutorials i mean i guess i could read the manual but for me it's always hard to it's always hard to learn a new pro i mean for everyone it's hard to learn a new program because it's like you have to learn all of these things and i'm just i'm not used to modeling like this so it's hard for me to kind of figure all this stuff out but i think people that are used to modeling with other apps they'll kind of understand all these terms how do you how, how would you make a crease out of this what's creasing can't move anything this thing saves a lot i wonder it hasn't crashed yet but so i don't know what that i don't know what that's doing but let's extrude some faces that's the only thing that I really want to do is make something round. Let's add, uh, let's delete this. Okay, how do I delete? I don't want to have to look for delete. I'll just go back and, oh, is this the outliner? Okay, so there must be like a delete here. Scene, box. There's no like just delete button. I don't want to, I don't really want to save it. I just want to get out. All right, but I guess I guess I can't. I'm not gonna be able to figure that out. How do you slide this back over? Okay, how do I delete this? Nope, not get back into it. Nope. Okay, so the slide didn't work. The touch didn't work. Long press. There we go. So we'll delete that. We'll add a new one. This never goes with the Apple Pinch. Or my finger. What are we doing? I mean, is it just me? Deleted model. I don't know if it's frozen or what. Let's open it back up. All right, so I'm just gonna chill and see if this opens. Have some water. Okay. I guess, uh, I guess that's it. I don't know what I should do. I mean, I guess I'll restart my iPad, but I've never like had to restart my iPad for an app, I don't think. We'll see if I can get it to work. Mm, I am rendering on my other computer. Oh, if you guys know, if you guys are Blender folks or anything, if you're comfortable and familiar with like graphics cards and all that stuff, I think I am. I really need a Blender only laptop. I say laptop because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fart around and try to make my own. Let's see if this works. Okay. New. I'm not gonna fart around and make like a computer because then I have to like do all the maintenance like myself on the computer and all that stuff. Like I just want a blender laptop that's like easy. I think RTX 40, 60 maybe, 70. Once it gets higher than that, you start talking like five thousand. That's too much money. Maybe like $2,500 is my budget. Okay, so I wanna add a new, oh, that's right, I'm gonna sync this up. I want to add a cylinder. So here we go. So I want to hide this, and instinctively I'm looking for an add or a plus button here, which I don't see. Scene graph. Nope. Whoops. Okay. Auto hide interval, show touches, auto hide. Okay, um, how do I add a, oh, here's a plus. Tube, no, I want a cylinder, cylinder. Cylinder height, I like this. I 
Undo. No. Can't undo. Okay. Cool. We'll bring this back. Nope, I didn't want zero. I guess I wanted. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's radius height. I want it short. Angle resolution. No, let's see. We'll add, we'll do 50. Radial resolution, I don't think I need much. But we'll add some vertical resolution. Okay, that looks good. And where is shade smooth? Let me look that up. Uh, actually, you know, I'm gonna look it up, but I'm gonna, I was gonna like cut, cut out, but whatever, I'll just, I'll just leave it and just, you guys can just hang out. And, we can just hang out together. So, what are I looking for? <laughs> oh, smooth shading. Let's just look it up here. Smooth shading display options. I feel like that's not going to be what I need. Maybe there is no smooth shading. No, this is pretty smooth. Modeler interface. If you were on iPad, toggle the inspector by tapping the toggle inspector button located near the bottom right of the screen. Okay, if you're on iPhone, node inspector. I don't see anything about, maybe it just doesn't do that. Display options, oh, shade smooth. When you have mesh selected by default, shade smooth will be off. This render will be the mesh such as that it looks faceted. You can turn shade smooth on and it will then render the model using vertex normals instead of face normals. The final shading rendered on screen is determined by this toggle. You can turn shade, shade Smooth on. Well, show me where it is. Shade Smooth. Uh, hardened. If there is a subdivision modifier in the mesh, then it will Shade Smooth regardless of the state. If there is a subdivision modifier. Okay. Where is the Shade Smooth button? It has pictures for most of the things, but it doesn't have pictures for... Shade smooth, does it? Oh, the inspector. So I gotta figure out how to get to this inspector. Oh, wrong app, sorry. <laughs> okay, so the inspector. So maybe this is the inspector. Okay, shade smooth. Yeah, what? Oh, I guess it doesn't look too bad. All right, let's figure out how to get, I would love to get like a bevel along like that edge, but I don't know if that's possible. Do I have to like really select them all? There's gotta be a better way to do, to get all of them, right? I feel like that's, I feel like this is too much work. Leave me alone. I feel like this is way too much work. Freaking thing is killing me. I guess backwards is a better way to go. Bevel. Can I bevel it? Nice. So I want to make like a turntable. So I think this selects everything, right? So let's. How do I look at it like straight on? Home. Nope. Oh, how do I get out of this thing? What are what are what are you? Go away. Put the inspector away. But where's the other tools? Oh, I guess I maybe have to press like one of these. So we'll press X. I just want to move it back up.
Okay, so I want to move this up uh, a little bit higher. I want to make like a little turntable. So that I'm going to make a turntable and then I'm going to send it to Blender and I'm just going to see if it works. Let me make sure you can see this, if it's bright enough. It looks kind of dark. Okay, so that's going to be my first thing because I, I I'm always making turntables. I just press something again. Let me press X. So I need to, oh, my fiance's taken off on the plane. She's in business class too, she's a baller. God. Why is predictive text so terrible? It's like, I'm using Swift key. I gotta find the heart. I'm using SwiftKey because SwiftKey used to be awesome on Android. It's not great on iOS. Uh, airplane. I like my emojis. I don't care what you say. Um, predictive, like, we can do so much, yet predictive text is garbage. Complete garbage, I think. Um, but maybe it's better on Androids than iPhones. Okay, add, uh, it's so far away down here. It's really far away. I want it to be, I want it to be like right up here. I wonder if I can like move, move things around. Uh, this thing is oh, literally always saving. Squircle, that's adorable. So, yeah, let's use a squircle only because I've never used one before. Ugh, I don't like that it won't just turn when I'm trying to make it turn. Like just depth. So we wanted to have I wanted to have some depth. Oh come on, oh, there we go. It's about to be really upset. <laughs> uh size size. Wait, well, what size is let me move this. Let me move that up. Oh, the squircle. That's what I that's what I needed. Right? Um that's what I needed. So let's, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm just like at a loss since I just found what I was looking for. So we'll make the size a bit bigger. We'll make the depth a little bit, a little bit chunkier. Radius, I don't even know what the radius would be. Oh, okay. Cool, that looks good. So squircle, squirk, squirtle, squircle, that's what we needed. Okay, so I think I need to make like a, if I can make like a cut across, let me confirm this. And then I can probably use this thing to oh, oh, spread it out. I hate that I can't just pull it back, but I think that's just like a 3D application thing. But I hate it. Okay, so that's even, that's better for my, for my phone, the phone that I wanted to do. Let's move it up. So maybe the phone is on the turntable. Let's do, let me add a, uh, oh, it's, I keep forgetting it's so far away down there. Photo box. Um, maybe, maybe let's do a capsule. I like it. Round, roundel? Does that say roundel? Oh no, a rounded box. Oh, I thought it was going to say roundel. I was going to love that. Size, let's make the size big. Why is this way big? I feel like big should be, I guess it is going that way, but it feels like I'm, radius, what's radius? Oh, okay, so that makes it like, okay. Resolution, so let's up the resolution a little bit. We'll do 25, conform. Uh, and this one is, I think we go like that. Oh, it kind of becomes a uh, a squirtle again or whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, but I kind of like it. So let's bring this down um, here. But I think I want to make a... I don't like how the bottom of this is so black. Like, what is, what's up with that? Do I need to subdivide it or something? I don't know how to subdivide. <sighs> I haven't figured out that yet and I don't feel like figuring it out at the moment let's add a torus underneath so what I want is to have something like a turntable 
And I want this with a light underneath so I can make like a nice cool turntable. It'll be cool. So let's add, I'm sorry, but this needs to be up here somewhere. Valance. <laughs> I, I apologize. I'm really liking this. I think this is the one thing that Nomad obviously has been missing at the, at the moment. So I think it's really cool because I do like to make little things like this now that I'm doing like little animated scenes. And this is easier for me than Blender. I just like working in it. Okay, let me let me keep going. Sorry. So let me add... Oh, I forgot. It's all the way down there. Uh, we need a Taurus. Uh, so we have a Taurus. Can we move it up? No, that moves everything. I want to move the Taurus up. I can't see it. I should be like... It should be selected. I have to move this up now. Wait, there's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way, right? There's gotta be a way to just show what the primitive I just brought in. There's no way that it's like, it shouldn't be selected. Cause I can't see, I wonder if it's a, I wonder if there's a, if there's a setting where I can set, saving, snapping, camera, Default primitive, primitive uh, options, primitive enabled, default primitive. Yeah, let's put the options on, primitive type. Let's make it a Squirtle. I know Squirtle, but I like Squirtle, sorry. Go home by swiping left edge screen. Uh, okay. Show touches. Auto hide. Oh, let me do the auto save. Let me make this like four minutes at least. So let's close that and oh well, I'll have to move this. That's fine. So let's take our Taurus. Wait a minute. Is it not selected? What do I do? I want to bring the tools back up. Can I th th thripple tap? Wait, where are the tools? Where are my tools at? I don't know. I gotta I gotta add another one. So I have my tools. Okay, so major radius. So we want that. Minor radius, I guess, is the little one inside. No, no, that's just the that's the donut radius. Major resolution. Minor resolution. Okay, so minor is the horizontal lines. I get it. I don't need that many really. But how do I make it, uh... There we go, that's more what I need. Minor resolution. So we need. We don't need more across, we need more up and down. But why is it... Maybe this will work, so let's, um... But this is way too big, so let's make it smaller. Hey, let's confirm this and bring it up. When did I did I even touch that? Okay, so let's go here. Let's bring this down to the floor. Oh, this would be cool to figure out how to how to get these if I can make the bottom flat. Okay, how do I select? Just like a freehand select. It's not faces, is it everything? Let's see if I can just, no, I can't just draw a selection box. Unfortunately, what is this? Modifier, I don't need a modifier. What's this, smooth? Don't need that. What's this? I don't need my mesh repaired, but I guess I repaired it twice. This looks like selection, no softening edges. What's this? Harden edges. I don't know what's happening. But all I want to do is like a selection tool. What's this? Drag, select. No. Rectangular selection. 
What if I... But it grabs everything. this. No, let's cancel that. Duplicate. All right. Anyway, I don't know how to, I don't know how to just select the things so I can bring them up. So I'll have to learn how to do that if I want to do it. But I want to bring this down so that I want the bottom flat. And then, oh, out of the way here. And then I have to bring the round part down. And this needs to go like underneath it. Well, why is it going all which way? So let's straighten it out now. Okay, not to get that big on me. Just straighten out. Nope, I just want it straight. Thank you. Okay, so we'll bring this down so I can see it. And then I'll need to make it bigger. Wait, is that size? Or is this like rotation? No, that's rotation. How do I make it just like what like bigger? Where's the bigger? Where's the bigger options? Do I have to make it bigger like that? I don't like that because I can't really no, that's making it ovular. Is that is that a word? How do I just, uh, can I just select, oh no, okay, that obviously doesn't work. Okay, so all I want to do is make this bigger. Can I like pull out from the middle? I have no idea what that did. <sighs> okay, all right, let me look at the directions. Okay, so I was looking in the manual. It seems like, remember when I tapped all of those things? I wonder if I can do this on an edge. Or if I tap three edges, it would tap the whole thing. So I'll have to remember that. Loop selection by tapping any three. Okay, interesting. Quick selection. I just want to know how to resize. Nothing found for resize scale. That's the 3D term, right? It should add in like resize. They should like link it to like scale for dumb dumbs like me who don't know the right terminology. Toolbar. Rendering modes, component, toolbar. Select tool. Move tool. So that moves it, but what about scaling? Rotate. Scale. Oh, this thing. So how do I scale the whole thing? If you touch, if you touch down and drag the center handle of the tool's gizmo, then you'll be able to scale to select them. Okay, so if you touch down, touch down, and drag the center handle of the tool's gizmo. Oh, okay. So it's sort of like a slicer. So let's let's see. So, do I have it selected? Of course I, oh no, I do. So I need to drag down. I mean, was that not correct? Okay, where's the, let me hide all this other, so, so I can actually see what I'm doing. I'm on the correct tool. What happened? Okay, so before I, oh, so down is small and I get it. I get it. Oh, and you can't, you can't roll to like undo all of these. Unfortunately, you have to tap each one. 
I'm not a huge fan of that. So I need to do this up. Okay, so I just want it right below the other one. Okay, so that's a cool turntable. This would make a cool phone. If I want to bevel this, if I want to bevel this screen, if I go, I go to face, right? I tap that face. Oh, and this is inset, right? And I'm saying right, like, I know. I don't know why I do that. So, I'll do something like this. The scene I'm making is actually a phone. My two little characters are going towards a phone. And they're looking at the screen. I just finished anima animating them, like, turning off their little lights. Because they're little machines. So, but this would be a much easier way to make the phone than making it in, in Nomad. So then I need to switch to this and push it down a little bit. I don't know, but I want it to go straight down. I don't want it to... Um, ooh, I need to like extrude it, right? No, I don't want to poke it. <laughs> uh, inset tool, extrude face. There you go, just a little bit. Face is extruded. Uh, the only other, you know what I'd really like to know is how to do a boolean or how to attach. Let's see. Let's figure out how to make a hole through this. But I don't know if it even has boolean. So let's find out. Okay. So clearly, no boolean. I'm, I'm really surprised at that. Uh, what, what's, the, I don't even know what the other cut, loop cut. So there's no Boolean? Maybe I spelled, maybe I spelled it wrong. No, there's no bool. I don't think it's B-U-L, <laughs> but Boolean. Um, I don't know what the term is. I don't know, I don't know how to do it. Let me look it up on the internet. Subtract from selection. Maybe, maybe. Oh no, it's, it's just talking about... Uh, is that it? Oh, in intersect selection is used with drag. No. I don't know if that will work. Um, so confused. So I don't know if that's worked. Let's add um let's add a let's add a tube. We'll just confirm it. I wish I could see where it is. Is this the tube? Oh, and what is this? What is this? How does box get here? Uh how do I delete it? How do I ease how can I easily delete it? Destructive. I didn't even know, I didn't even know you could um, long press. But this is useful. Uh, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to have a hole in the middle. Oh, let me just redo. Let me delete this. How do I delete it? Okay, so we'll add a fresh cylinder. Oh, I'm still not going to be able to see it, though, because it doesn't select automatically. Um, okay, I guess I have to hide all this first. I keep, th I keep thinking that this is this. So I have to hide. But we want... No. Squircle. This is what we want. We want Squircle. Can I rename it? 
that recording? I am. Okay, so here's the squircle. Okay, so let's add a cylinder. No, I don't want... Okay, there we go. Why did the other one have a ring in it? So I'm just going to confirm and then move it up. I want to make a hole in this. So if I select... Oh, maybe this is it. So if I... No. No. How do I select two models at once? Oh, these two. Subtract from selection. Yeah, I don't know how to do that. So, I don't know. I don't see anything that says Boolean. I feel like I do know that term, so that would have made it a bit easier for me. I don't know what these are. Pivot. Oh, this is like the pivot. So that's not really helpful. So this, this looks like it would leave what's in the middle when they're both touching. This looks like it would subtract from selection. This should enable me to select them both. Okay. Long press, modifiers, destructive is just delete. Does that delete both of them? It does. Okay, so. Delete? No, that just deletes the one. There's got to be a way, right? Add mirror mesh. Anyway, let me know if there's a way to do that. But I'm going to. So far, so good. I mean, I kind of like. I kind of like it. I'm gonna bring everything back by slowly tapping on everything. I'm gonna delete this if it will let me select it i wish there was just delete there instead of having to tap twice but you can't have everything um i like yeah so i like it i think it looks pretty good so let's rename this um tt turntable Plate. Give me a cylinder. And, oh, I didn't mean to move it. Rounded box. TT rounded base. Taurus is going to be the TT glow. And the phone is going to be the phone. Cool. So let's save. Model is saved. So let's try and export this, maybe. Um, a long press. Share. Does it give like sharing options or something? What happened? I can't, I can't long press. I can't tap. Select. Oh, no. Again? What is going on? All right, I guess that's it. Um, I'm going to try to figure out, I guess, how to export this, but I don't know what's happening. And this is the second time it's completely crashed unless... You know, if someone knows something that I'm doing or that I'm not doing or something that I'm missing. But this is like the second time that it's just completely crashed and frozen. And 
I like what it can do, but right now I'm feeling very over it. It's not worth the stress of trying to make like a simple little thing. And now it's doing this thing again where it's just waiting on the screen. So I think that is my cue to have a mental reset, relax, breathe, Usa, calm down. And uh, I'm gonna check out my little animation that I just finished, a little scene. And maybe I'll show you that little scene. It's gonna be part of a much longer scene. I have a bunch of things that I need to animate. And that's why I need a new computer. So please let me know what you think of this video and let me know what you think of balance and what I'm doing wrong. And or give me your suggestions for laptops strictly for Blender. Now I actually have an, uh, like a monitor, I have an external monitor, so I can probably plug it into an external monitor. So I'm not too worried about like the size of the screen or whatever. I just want something that would make help me render things quickly, more quickly than my MacBook Pro M1 because it's not really optimized for Blender. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, I'll see you all in the next video. I don't know what that sound was.